Good afternoon, everybody. What I have now is a daily chart, and it's a daily chart on the S&P 500. And technology stocks have been down eight days in a row. So we dip below it, and I just want you to see the white line. That's the 50-day simple moving average, and that's at 23.49. Now I'm going to blow it up some so that our senior traders are going to be right there. Um, one of the things that uh, I want to point out is in this bull market run has been about, oh, eight years. And basically when we started out 2017, that daily 50-day moving average crossed above this yellow line, which is a 100-day simple moving average. Now we made the 52-week highs up here. This was just how we started, okay? So basically, when we take a look at uh, the reasons why, they're very simple. Um, th these indexes are fighting for their um, support levels right now. And we've had a big, tremendous run. Now, we can see that the highs are lower. This was a 52-week high. That was a lower high reversal. We came back up for four days. We shot up back above that 50-day moving average that you can see. And I'm just going to make it a little bit better where you can see these diagonal trend lines that are coming that way. And you can see that 50-day down here. Um, I'm just going to show the um, from this low to here. We have basically got below this line right here. And that point, this point, and all of them connect together very favorably. I'm going to say that the 20-day simple moving average is 23.59. I'm going to say that the, the blue line up here is the 10-day simple moving average on the S&P. And I'm just going to blow this up. So we can see that part of the bearish uh, part that is coming up. If you take a look at that uh, blue line and the red line, those are the 20-day and the 10-day. Now, here's the deal. This 10-day has just started to cross over that 20-day. Now, the wider that this gets, that means that the S&P will go up and it will fight for support, but it's going to roll over. And, it, and they are. So I'm just updating everybody. Um, that's why the tech stocks, when they go up and hit their major resistance levels, they too pull back. So, hey, the volatility is here. We're going to be going into a major earnings season. And these markets have to come down to create buying opportunities for the earnings season. And we're, we're going to have some earnings that start here on uh, 413 of 2017 and you know hey it's breaking um, one of the other things that I would like to be very clear about is when we go ahead and we look at the weekly now on the S&P and here is a major weekly bull market trend but that blue line is the 20 you have the 20 week moving average right here that blue line is a 10-week simple moving average, and it shows the picture. And now it's time to make money on the reversals. These is below that. Um, one of the other things that I'll point out uh, for all of our people that we have around the world is what is the U.S. doing, and why did we make these highs here? And look at this big red bar. They tested that rising 10-week moving average. So it's rising, and it's still very bullish. But uh, in the shorter term, we have to just take a look at these two right there. And basically, if I come all the way back over here to these lows, and I come right here, it's perfectly matched from the, where this weekly breakout started, which was right there. So... The bull market needs to have a pullback. The earnings season is coming. It's a big make or break for this S&P 500. 
And one more thing that I would like to point out on the monthly chart, which is right here, you can see year 2017. But this is last month and this month is starting right here. And I would just like other people to understand one thing. Um, making a market is a much better way to be interactive and making a lot of money. And when I take a look at the percent DS at 92.71, the prior month was 94 points. Now, a lot of your hedge fund managers and people look at that. Uh, I'm telling you that it is an overbought uh, monthly chart, period. So I'm going to conclude that rising 10 week is very bullish, but we're below it. And so this week's high is much lower than the previous weekly high there. So um, I'll just give you one more little snapshot of it from this price angle right here. And this is what we're going to look at right there. Now, everybody needs to know one thing. Um, we do need a pullback. This white line um, that I'm going to show uh, to all of our people is one thing. Uh, that 10 week and the separation between these two, when they contract, then more weakness will build up. And a lot of people don't even understand how to use moving averages and whatnot. They use a lot of that retail crap um, that's been regurgitated over and over and over. We have a pure mathematical system and I'm just going to draw one more trend line that's going to come right across here perfectly. And basically, here's the breakout. There's that support. Here's the top. Here's the top reversals coming down. You had a big distribution week here. They came back in. They popped it up right here. Yes, they did. And so that area, which is going to be about right there, uh, across these areas right here, is where the S&P is starting to gain weakness. And so we're going to be monitoring it. So remember, it's still in a bull run. It just needs to pull back.